A world of unimaginable beauty is lurking just beyond the reach of sunlight. These are not scenes from a distant galaxy, but from the depths of our own planet. We spend billions of dollars, deploy cutting-edge technology, and send brave explorers to places so inhospitable, so utterly alien, they make the surface of Mars seem like a pleasant stroll. Why? What drives us to plumb these crushing, freezing, lightless realms? Because the deep ocean isn't just vast. It's the last true frontier on Earth. Less than 5% of its colossal volume has ever been truly explored. And what we're finding there is rewriting everything we thought we knew about life itself. Imagine ecosystems thriving under pressures that could crush a submarine in perpetual darkness, fueled not by the sun, but by chemical reactions from Earth's core. From the abyssal plains to the crushing Hadal zones, the deepest trenches on Earth, scientists are discovering new species every year. Take the Mariana snailfish, for instance. It thrives at nearly 8,000 meters, uniquely adapted to pressures that would obliterate any other known fish. These extreme environments aren't just a spectacle. They offer profound insights into the very origins of life on Earth, and even potential extraterrestrial life. If life can flourish here, thriving without sunlight, what possibilities exist on ocean moons like Europa or Enceladus? But the deep ocean holds more than just answers to ancient questions. It holds keys to our future. Deep sea organisms are proving to be treasure troves of unique compounds, potential new pharmaceuticals that could lead to breakthroughs in treating diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. This vast unseen world also plays a critical role in regulating Earth's climate and global carbon cycles. It's a colossal carbon sink, quietly buffering us from the worst impacts of climate change. Yet it also presents complex challenges. The allure of rare Earth elements, vital for our modern technology, is driving a growing interest in deep sea mining. But this pursuit brings with it ethical dilemmas and urgent questions about potential irreversible damage to these fragile ecosystems.